in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is our English, English class. <clears throat> in this class, today we will study chapter number seven. English A book, Active English book three, page number 28, chapter number seven. Let's read, read and answer the questions. There are the pictures of boys and girls, Umar, Maruf, Uzma, Zeb, Zohra, Zia. Now let's read the sentences. Maruf has more books than Umar. Umar has fewer books than Maruf. Look, Umar has four books and Maruf has one, two, three, four, five. It means Maruf has more books. Here is Uzma with two kittens and Zeb with three. And Zohra with four apples and Zaya has three apples. Who has more kittens than Uzma? Who has? The answer should be Zeb has more kittens than Uzma. Then who has fewer kittens than Zeb? Uzma has. Next question, who has more apples than Zia? Zohra has more apples than Zia. Who has fewer apples than Zohra? Zia has fewer apples than Zohra. Okay? Keep these words more and fewer in your mind. Now again, the names of the girls and boys, then what is written here? Maruf has more rice than Omar. The word more. Omar has less rice than Maruf. Look here. In Omar's plate, there is less. And in Maruf, there is more rice. Who has more milk than Uzma? Who has? Zeb has more milk. Who has less milk than Zeb? Uzma has less milk. Who has more bread than Zia? Zohra has more bread. Who has less bread than Zohra? Zia has less bread. Now, as I told you, look these words more, fewer, more, more, here, fewer. Less, more, less, more, less. For the greater quantity, who has large amount of things, or you can say the greater amount of things, we use the word more. Here also, we use the word more. But here, for the little amount of any quantity, we use the word fewer books. But here, what we did, for the little amount of something, they use less rice. Why? The difference is that when the things are countable, that you can count the book. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. You can easily count these things. Okay. That's why for the countable things we use for the greater quantity or the more quantity, we use the word more for the large quantity. But for the little quantity, we use the word fewer, okay? And the things which are uncountable, suppose rice, you cannot count the rice. Milk, water, ink, coffee, juice, bread, these things you cannot count. You can count the glass or you can count the cups, but the amount, the things which are in, you can say, the liquid things or things like the rice or sand. You cannot count them. So we use the word less. We use the word less for uncountable things. We can count the loaf of bread, but the bread we cannot count. Okay? Just like the liquid things I told you, milk, coffee, water, 
we cannot count so we use the word for little quantity we use the word less for countable things fewer uncountable thing less and in both cases we use more for the greater quantity we use more for the countable and more for the uncountable <clears throat> Now, this is oral exercise for you. What they're asking, how many good sentences can you make? Let's see, Umar has more pens than Maruf, correct. Umar has fewer pens than Maruf, correct. Umar has less pens, no. This is wrong with the word less. You cannot write pens because you can count the number of pens, three, four, five, or six. So less will go with ink. Ink is in the liquid form. You cannot count it. So the word less we use with ink. Umar has less ink than Maruf. Okay? Then take the noun Uzma. Uzma has more rulers then Maruf, correct. Uzma has fewer rulers than Zeb, correct. Just like this, you have to make how many sentences you can make? Maybe 10, maybe 12. So you will do it by your own and it's an oral exercise. Don't write it in your notebook. It's just for your practice using these words, more, fewer, and less. Okay, this chapter is about these words. So try to understand it well. Let's move to the next page, page number 29. Again, this exercise number three for your practice. Make sentences like the ones below. The man has two dogs. The woman has three dogs. The woman has more dogs than the man. The man has fewer dogs than the woman. Okay. Omar has a little milk. Uzma has a lot of milk. Uzma has more milk than Omar. Omar has less milk than Uzma. Understand? For the milk, the word less. Okay, children, so this exercise, again, for your practice only, oral exercise, no need to write in your notebooks. Suppose, let's read, I will tell you orally the two sentences, then other you will do by your own. The boy has two oranges, the girl has three oranges. So, first you write, the girl has more oranges than the boy. Then the second sentence, the boy has fewer oranges than the girl. Okay, because oranges you can count. So you use fewer. The boy has a little water. The girl has a lot of water. The girl has a more water then the boy, the girl has more water than the boy. The second sentence, the boy has less water than the girl. Okay, other you will practice by your own. Three cats, what will come here? Fewer. Little money, less money. Five, uh, 50 pages. 90 pages, you can count the pages, so fewer. Bottle has a little ink. Ink is a liquid, you cannot count, so you use here less. Okay, children? Now do the practice by your own. Exercise number four, put a tick by the best words. Now let's see. A, a library has more books than a classroom more books because library has maybe thousands of books but the classroom has fewer books 
So you write here, a library has more books. A house has rooms than a school. Fewer. A jug can hold. Cup. Jug is the bigger thing. So a jug can hold more milk than a cup. I have dash money than my father or mother. So I have less money for the money. Also we use less than my father or mother. There are days in a year. Then there are in a month. There are more days in a year, year than there are in a month. There are dash day, days in April than there are in March. In April, we have 30 days. In March, we have 31. So there are fewer days in April than there are in March. Okay. Exercise number five. Read aloud. These are the words with only O, no, go, ago. The words with O and at the end E. Look at the sound. Close, those, note, wrote, alone, stone, home, whole. Concentrate on the sound of these words. All sounds are similar. Now the words with O and W. Low, no, blow, slow, show, ball, yellow. The words with O and A. The sound is boat, coat, road, soap. With a picture, a comb, clothes, soldier, shoulder, photograph, old, cold, hold, over, postcard, seal. Try to learn the spellings of these words. Now let's move to the next page. Page number 30, here we have a small story. You can see the comprehension about the clever servant. Let's read. This is an old story. It was first told long ago. A rich man wanted to make a journey to another town. He was a businessman. He wanted to take things to sell. He also wanted to take gold to buy things with. He decided to take 10 servants with him. They would carry the things to sell and the gold and also food to eat on the journey. He was a kind man. He said to one of his servants, you are the smallest, the thinnest, and the weakest of all my servants. You cannot carry a heavy load. You must choose the lightest load to carry. The servant thanked his master for his kindness. He pointed to the biggest load. This was bread to eat on the journey. His master said, you are foolish. That is the biggest and heaviest load. But the servant picked up the load cheerfully and the journey began. They walked for four hours. Then they stopped for a rest. They all ate some of the bread. Then there was less bread for the servant to carry. Every day they are they ate more bread and there was less bread to carry. The servant's load grew smaller and lighter every day. At the end of the journey, the clever servant had nothing to carry. 
Do you understand this story? Why the servant was clever? Read this again one time, two times, or three times, and think why the servant was clever. Okay? Think about it. Let's do the question answers. Remember the story? Who wanted to go on a journey? A rich man wanted to make a journey. But according to the question, you write a rich man wanted to go on a journey. Simple. Only question from A to E are included according to the scheme of studies. Okay, five questions. We will write the answers. What did he want to take? Just read it again. He was a businessman. He wanted to take things to sell. What did he want to take? He wanted to take things to sell. Why did he take gold? He also wanted to take gold to buy things with. So according to the question, you write the answer. He took gold to buy things with. Simple. Why did he take food? He took food to eat on the journey. How many servants went? Let's see. How many servants went? There was 10 servants. There were 10 servants. Hmm. Yes, he decided to take 10 servants. Okay, how many servants went? 10 servants went. Here are the question answers. Question number A, who wanted to go on a journey? Here is the answer. A rich man wanted to go on a journey. What did he want to take? He wanted to take things to sell. Why did he take gold? He took gold to buy things with. Why did he take food? He took food to eat on the journey. How many servants went? 10 servants went. Okay. It's a simple chapter about fewer and more, and then the story, Clever Servant, and these question answers. Okay, children, now in our workbook, page number 16, chapter seven, also related to the same topic, you have to write what they are asking. According to the picture, Umar has da dash cars, then Umar. Maruf has dash cars, then Umar. Umar has two cars. Maruf has more. So you write here, Maruf has more cars. You will write it by yourself. Umar has cars, then Maruf. Countable things, you can count the cars. So what word you use here? Fewer. Uzma and Zeb. Zeb has dash oranges, dash Uzma. Zeb has more oranges than what word come here? It's a comparison. So you write the word then, T-H-A-N. Now you have to write here, Uzma has, now Uzma has fewer, fewer oranges than Zeb is already written. Zaya has more books than Zohra. Zohra has fewer books than Zaya. Then these pictures and this exercise about the things uncountable, like ink, then maybe milk or water. Let's see, milk and water. Maruf has more ink than Omar. Okay, Maruf has big bottle of ink. Omar has less ink than Maruf. Zeb has more water than Uzma. Uzma has less water than Zeb. Zea has, it's a big bottle, more milk than Zohra. Zohra has less milk than Zia. Okay, children? 
write this in your workbook. This is also your homework. The next page of workbook is also you have to choose the best word. Remember the countable and uncountable, and then you can do it easily. I'm not going to tell you. It's up to you. You have to do the correct one and then do it as a homework. Okay, children, I hope you would understand this better when you read it again. Read the whole chapter again and write the word book page. Then everything will be clear in your mind, inshallah. That's all for today. Wish you a good luck.